Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed mouth and buccal cavity, it's turn for pharynx and esophagus, the next parts of the alimentary canal. So let's talk about pharynx. Now, what did we see till now? We saw that the food entered through the mouth, then it went into the buccal cavity where uh, it got mixed with the saliva, it was broken down into smaller pieces by teeth. Now, what happens to the food? Now, this food moves into the pharynx. So, pharynx is a common passage for food and air. So, it connects to food pipe and windpipe so this portion so from where do we breathe in so we breathe through our nostrils right so you see this is how we will breathe in so the air will be moving through this part and the food will be moving through this part correct so this common passage for both food as well as air that is called pharynx so pharynx is going to connect to the food pipe as well as to the wind pipe. So the wind pipe is going to be somewhere just behind the food pipe. So that's how it is. So the, the air which we uh, breathe in that will get into the wind pipe and the food which we eat that will get into the food pipe. So for both of them there is one common entry that is pharynx and pharynx will take a decision. If it is food it will send it to the uh, food pipe. If it is air then it will send it to the wind pipe. But no digestion happens in pharynx. So pharynx is just like, uh, you can say it is like an entry gate where you, you, if you go to see a fair or if you go to see some event. So what happens at the entry? So at the entry gate, a person is standing there who checks your tickets and then allow you to go inside. So similarly here also pharynx will just pass food into the food pipe and air into the wind pipe. So that is the only purpose of pharynx. So no digestion happens here. So pharynx will connect. So it is like a common thing which is connected to nose also, which is also connected to mouth. So it is like connected to both the parts. So let's see where does the food go after passing through the pharynx. Of course, it goes into the food pipe, which is the esophagus. So this is the food pipe. So after passing through the pharynx, it moves into the food pipe. And what happens in the food pipe? So this food pipe helps in the downward movement of food. So if you see pharynx and esophagus, these are the two parts of the alimentary canal where no actual digestion happens. They just help in moving the food to the place where digestion is going to happen. So they actually help in transporting the food from mouth to stomach. So they act as the road between the two. So in esophagus, they have some muscles involved on the walls of the esophagus or the food pipe. And these muscles make some movement which is called peristalsis. So peristalsis is the name of the movement which is due to expansion and contraction of the muscles on the inner walls of the food pipe. And this movement pushes the food downward and that's how the food moves in the downward direction and finally it reaches the stomach and now here starts the main story of digestion thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again